What's going on guys, Sir Lewis here. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys here the ultimate guide here on how to use BitKit on your desktop. Now, if you wanna learn how to use it on your phone as well, I'll be making a video for that in the future, which will probably be in the description and pinned comment below for the future. So if you wanna see that, definitely subscribe, put that notification bell. And if you're watching this, it'll be in the description below for the phone, but in this one is gonna be the desktop version. And, and if you guys still don't have a BitKit account, you guys can definitely help me out and my channel and use my affiliate link, which I'll pin down and also be in the description below for joining BitKit. And what's awesome is that BitKit is having these awesome coupons that you guys can get free money here for BitKit. So right here, futures trading rewards, you will receive $50 in coupon if your total futures trading volume reaches 100K USDT. And you might think that's a lot, but that just means the volume, okay? That just means the volume of your trading. And then another one here is up to $4,000. First time depositor bonuses. But again, it's up to $4,000. You got to see the tier list for the amount that you deposit into BitKit. Now, before I show you guys here how to use BitKit and just an overall guide here for beginners, the reason why I love using BitKit as my main trading platform every time that I stream, I use it, is because number one, you don't need a VPN if you guys are using this in the United States. Now again, if you're in a different country, definitely look up if you can use BitKit there, I'm pretty sure you can, but you don't need a VPN like you would with Bybit or Binance, okay? You can use it without worry in the United States. Second, you don't need to KYC. Okay, you don't need to KYC and you could get up to 125x leverage without KYC. Now again, don't go straight to leverage. I'm just saying that because KuCoin, for example, without KYC is up to 10x leverage. So if you want more leverage, um, Bitkit is definitely a good one to get started with. And then the third one would be that they have a demo trading platform where you can practice leverage trading, adding stop losses and all stuff with basically fake money, right? And they also have a good variety of cryptos to trade from, all the top ones, and their fees are pretty low as well. So so let's get started here with using Bitkin. Now one awesome thing that I love about this is that after you guys make your account, is that here on the desktop, if you go right here to log in, if you're in the desktop, you can actually log in with your QR code. So when you guys download the app on your phone, just go to your phone and then just scan the QR code and then you just log in without having to type anything. That I just think that's really awesome. So then boom, right there, I just logged in just by simply scanning the QR code on my phone, which is pretty cool. So this is the main page here for BitKit. Right over here at the top right, you got your assets, you got your withdrawal, you got your transfers. Now here, I wanna show you guys here the main trading page. And then right here, you got your futures trading, your USDT M futures. This is for futures settled in USDT. Then you got your coin M futures, basically support Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, USDC as universal margin. Then this is your demo trading platform. So you can demo trade, like I said, basically for paper trading. Now spot trading basically is just buying it. You're not like leverage trading or anything. It's just buying it and keeping it there and you can actually withdraw it after you buy it. Then right here you got strategic trading, spot grid trading, futures grid trading is just like a strategy based type of trading. So you got copy trading, which is awesome because here in copy trades, you guys can find other people that are trading and you can see exactly what they're trading, what their trades are like publicly. And you can actually put some of your money on their trades and they'll basically like trade for you like whatever trade that they do a percentage of your money will be towards that and you can earn by using them for copy trading so you can see right here this person it shows you all their stats which is awesome okay another thing if you're a trader you can sign up to be a copy trader and you can earn money that way which is awesome too and then right here if you click on orders look at this it tells you all their trades and if they're up their PL and all that stuff so this is a great feature here that i love about big kid the, this copy trading feature they have a they have a referral program which i'm part of so let's talk right here about the futures let me go right here to the demo trading for the futures i want to show you guys here around for trading now one thing that i will say guys is that i personally myself the way that i trade okay i'm gonna be honest with you guys is that i use trading view the desktop app version you can download trading view for your desktop and i use bitkit on trading view and what i mean by that is that when i search the coin up here okay when you guys are up here on trading view and you're searching a coin what I do is I go right here to all sources and I just search bit get. You see that? Now, every time I search a coin, or I don't even have to search it, I could just go right here. As long as it says Bitget here, it's gonna have that same price as if it were to be on the desktop for Bitget, okay? And the one small detail is, if you're futures trading, you wanna choose the one that says perpetual mixed contract. That's the futures trading. So let's say I was futures trading Bitcoin, I would choose this one. That's why I have a red mark right there. I would choose this one for Bitkit, and that's the one that I use. And then the reason you wanna do this versus having one that's like on KuCoin or Binance is because this is gonna have the most accurate price to Bitkit, because it's legit Bitkit. It says right there, this is gonna have the exact price as if it would if you were trading right here. Now you can trade right here just like as you would with any other, but the reason why I prefer TradingView 
is because there's many indicators here that I can't get on the BitKit application, even though this is part of TradingView. Like this right here is part of TradingView. It even says it right here, chart by TradingView. If I go right here to the indicators, it's very limited. It doesn't have like a bunch. It has all the basic indicators here, but it doesn't have ones here that I love like the Gaijin channel. So it's very limited for that reason. And what I do is I'll chart right here on TradingView and then I'll just have my phone up on the BitKit app and I'll trade on the BitKit app. That's the reason why I'm gonna be making a video here for BitKit on how to use it on your phone, which is very simple. But I'll just put in the orders on the app, which is super easy to do as well. But looking right here, you can make this bigger, okay, by clicking right here. And right here, you can see the order book, the market trades, okay, right over here. Now right here, this is where you put your order. So let me explain this for you because this is very important. Um, and they also have this on the phone. So right here, this is how much money you have in total. Okay, 3,000. So let's say you got 3,000, right? And right here, okay, you're looking at this, I wanna buy a long, so you're gonna click right here, but you're gonna scroll, this scrolling thing right here basically tells you the percentage of your account. So let's say right here, I want to risk 3% of my account. That's basically 3% of $3,000, which tells you right here the cost, which is around $90, you see that? So I'm putting in $90 and I wanna buy a long. Now one thing here that you guys should always do is put a stop loss, and you do that by clicking right here. Click right there. Again, this is very similar to on the phone. And right here, what is a stop loss? A stop loss is basically a point, a certain price where if it touches that, okay, if it reaches there, you're out of the trade. You sell for a loss. Now the whole thing about a stop loss is to prevent you getting liquidated or just getting a huge loss, right? Let's say your stop loss is you'll get a 5% loss, which might be like $10 or something, right? So instead of losing, so instead of losing your whole $90 or losing like $50, $70, you'll just lose $10 right so that's the whole point of a stop loss you're putting a specific price that you see based on your charting that if it were to touch that you're out of the trade because if it were to touch that you believe that it's going to go even even worse and then that prevents you from losing a lot more money so definitely practice using stop loss take profit basically is the opposite it's basically a certain price where you're taking profit if it reaches there and then right here you want to choose the price at where you want to buy your longer sell your shorts i definitely recommend using a limit order but if you want to just buy it right now, you can click right here and choose market order, which just buys it at the price right now. But again, if the market is super volatile, you might get a bad price, okay? It might be like going crazy up and down and you might get a bad price. That's why I recommend a limit order. And then one other very important thing here, guys, to note is that if you're leverage trading, you see right here where it says cross, cross versus isolated. I'm gonna tell you the exact difference between the two because this is important to know, okay? The difference between cross, having it on cross versus isolated is that cross, Cross is using your whole account balance. And what that basically does is that makes your liquidation price a lot higher, okay? Because it's basically using your whole balance. Like it's not using your balance for the trade, like your trade is still gonna be 3% of your portfolio, but it's using the balance to, to increase your liquidation price. And if it does get to your liquidation price, you'll basically lose your whole account balance. Now versus isolated, isolated, you're gonna get a lower liquidation price, but if it does touch that liquidation price, you're only gonna lose what you put in the trade, which was $90. So if it were to touch that liquidation price, you'll just lose $90 versus the $3,000. And the reason why I recommend isolated is because you don't wanna have your whole account balance up there to be liquidated, even if you have a stop loss. And learning to use isolated and learning where your liquidation price is, is gonna help you grow as a trader, especially since it's lower, you can make a better plan instead of having it higher and just thinking that it won't ever reach there. So then after you set that, you wanna click right here at the top right you want, and you wanna set your leverage. Now, like I said, a Bitkit lets you go up to 125X leverage, which is just insane. But again, you wanna practice with small leverage here, especially if you guys never day traded. And then after you set your leverage, that's when you guys wanna put in your order, buy long or sell short. And it's just that simple, guys. It's very simple. It's even more simpler. And then after you put your order, it should be right here at the bottom and you guys can close that order anytime you guys want either for profit or maybe you just want to get out of the trade this right here is the spot trading which i told you guys is just buying crypto and you guys can withdraw it as well and what i love about bitkit is that it has such a huge variety of cryptos to buy and i was so surprised because it has cryptos even cryptos like osmo there's so many low cap cryptos here on bitkit look right here juno cult vlx VLX, Vault. Now the thing is they're not on futures trading. Futures trading is mostly like the top cryptos and they're basically all these right here. Now again, they still have waves and they're always adding new ones right here. So look at this, they just added new ones right here. SNX, Store J, 
And if you guys want to deposit crypto, you just go right here to buy crypto, crypto deposit. You can withdraw it. You can deposit. You can, they even have a third party here, third party payment, okay, which supports buying crypto with multiple fiats. And you guys can use that as well. And then put crypto here and then bring that to your futures account and then start trading. Now, again, I'm going to bring you guys to the tutorial on how to use this on your phone. And also, I'll make a clear video on how I like to trade, especially when I live stream, um, which is using my phone and the trading view. Bitkit, I'll make a tutorial on that as well. But that's mainly it, guys. That's mainly how you use Bitkit here. If you guys got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them in the comments below. And if you guys want to join my trading group and learn even more trading scalping, you guys can join my trading group, Invest the Rest Club, in the description below and be part of my trading group and get signals and all that stuff. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.